Now, with those showers comes flooding concerns. So can we expect that to be an issue? First News anchor Stan Boney is live tonight in Mahoning County. It begins our team coverage. Well, here in downtown Youngstown tonight, it is still just rain. Uh, when we first showed up here about 15 minutes ago, it was hardly raining at all. Now we are getting a, a moderate or a light rain falling here downtown. Now, the snowpack that we've had for the last two weeks is going down because of the warmer temperatures and the rain. Uh, all that water that's coming off of the snowpack, running into the creeks and eventually into the river. But according to Nick Greenewald, who's the hydrologist at the National Weather Service in Cleveland, the flooding potential over the next few days is low. I spent some time today observing the Mahoning River as it runs through Struthers. The latest observation from the River Forecast Center is putting the water level of the Mahoning right now at around two feet. Greenewalt says it's possible it could rise another four feet, but flood level of the Mahoning in Youngstown is 14 feet, and we're not even close to that. He says the fact that it will be turning cold again is keeping the flood potential down. But the rain and the temperatures where they are now is allowing the snowpack on the ground to be released slowly. It'll actually be a little bit of a good thing for our long-term flood prospects or in the next, you know, one to two months if we actually release some of this water out of the snowpack uh, right now. Um, but the combination of additional snowfall with the current snowpack and any of the water that's retained to that leaves us kind of ripe for potential flood issues down the road. Well, Greenwald says it's too soon to predict the existing snowpack will cause flooding problems over the next couple of months. There are way too many factors involved to make that forecast as of yet. But that being said, Greenwald also says that the long-term forecast for the next one to three months is for above normal rainfall. So there is the chance that we could see some enhanced flooding somewhere down the road. Live in Youngstown, Stan Boney, WKBN 27 First News.